Sat Nam, everyone. It's Candace from Soul Fire Social. Very excited to begin our series on immunity, making sure that we keep ourselves super strong and healthy over the course of this beautiful summertime. So let's go ahead and this morning, but let's open up receptive mood. Thumb and index finger, Gyan Mudra on the uh, knees. Arms are straight and let's just really be ready to receive. We're going to chant a lot today. We're going to be moving. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, I will say this. So uh, I, this is one of my favorites. And I think if we went to my videos, I would say that in every single video, but it really is a magical, magical Kriya, especially if you do love to chant a bit here. So let's go ahead and close the eyes. And let's bring ourselves into our internal space. Connect your sit bones. Visualize your golden cord down. Visualize your golden cord up. And allow your body just to rotate gently as you breathe around those beautiful cords. Feeling the expansion in the pranic body as we breathe in. Allowing yourself to release any stress, any strain, any stale energy on that exhale. Rise and fall of the chest. Eye focus is on the third eye. And let's just visualize as we bring that prana in, white golden light washing through the body, oxygen coming into each and every cell, it's a symbiotic relationship with the plants around us as we bring in the oxygen from the trees, from the life. We give back our CO2 and they accept that. Let's go ahead and bring our palms together, <clears throat> creating heat, creating energy. And then let's bring that heat into our prayer pose, thumbs connect at the sternum, fingers pointing up and out. And as we tune in with the Adi Mantra, followed by the Mangala Charn, allowing yourself to connect with your own personal vibration sending it out through the fingertips out to the universal heart as well effectively sharing our frequency sharing our vibration with one another and with the world let's take a nice long deep inhale big sigh out and then we'll begin inhale Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo Ang Namo Adgare name, Jugadgare name, Satgare name, Siri Guru Deve name, Adgare name, Jugadgare name, Satgare name, Siri Guru Deve name. Ad Gurena me, Jugad Gurena me, Sad Gurena me, Siri Gurde Vena me. Inhale and hold.
golden cord, tapping into ancient wisdom, beautiful teachings, your heart, the universal heart, guru above, guru within, surrounding yourselves with a protective light for the duration of our practice. Let's release the breath and go ahead and put the hands on the knees and begin a Sufi grind around to the left starting counterclockwise please beautiful small intentional movements Candace? Candace? Yes? I, I'm, I'm not, not recording, recording this. I'm not. I just recording. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> That's alright. We're all good. Okay. And so, soupy grind. Yeah, and let's just keep that really nice super tight lower part of the spine rotating through the sacrum good morning and breathing in through the nose forward exhaling back so lovely feeling our connection to the ground little squeeze to our internal organs and then let's make it bigger let's make them really big allow the skull to get heavy and make big 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 circles all the way forward all the way back it's almost as if you could bring your forehead all the way to the ground make sure they're as wide and broad as you can make them. Oh. We have some special guests here this morning. Lisa's back from Guatemala and Caitlin's here too and Miss Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Good, good. Juju. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Slowly, slowly start to bring it back to the center. And just make sure when you get there, allow yourself a little pause and then begin that very gentle rotation to the right. Bottom third, spine first, head stays stable. Super controlled. down to the ground. This is very grounding posture. And then make it big. Big circles. All the lower intestines, all the lower organs. Huge squeeze. Pull on the kidneys when you lean forward. Squeeze that liver on the right. Bandha as you hold the breath in 
minus sex organs, pull it all in, be intentional. Piece by piece, pull everything up and in, navel back towards the spine, hold it. Visualize, we start to trigger and ignite that kundalini energy, second and third vertebrae. Bringing it up, up, up. Bring that focus to your third eye. And slow release down like a waterfall breath lock. Very intentionally opening up as we release the Mula Banda and just being conscious of that connection when we're safe and secure, lacking in fear. We have this beautiful flow of energy from the root, Mother Earth, and then up through our own bodies. We're going to begin our series on immunity. As we start to see everything opening up on the world, everyone's kind of lying in a cage. We're all ready to go out and have some fun. We just want to make sure that we are as healthy as possible. A lot of work on our glandular system that we're going to do, making sure um, yeah, really that we just have as strong immune systems as possible. So this one is literally for immunity. So let's get started. Our arms come behind us in the back and they're interlaced in a venous lock. See that here? I'm sitting in an easy pose and I'm gonna raise, take my arms out a little bit. So you wanna kind of rotate the shoulders. Make sure you're open. I'm really open across in the heart space so I can kind of pull back if I wanted to reach back and I'm open there in my shoulders. That should feel really good. And then it's gonna be an inhale left, exhale right. You're gonna start swinging, that's your pull. Keep it open, begin twisting. Powerful breath, good momentum. You're gonna do this full times for this Kriya everything. Three minutes. As I say that, those of you watching, if you need a break, Take a pause, we stop, we visualize we're continuing, and we come back with more power. Sat Nam is your mantra. Sat Nam, Sat Nam. Truth is your name. Focus, keep your swing. Bring it, slow it down to the center. 
center. Let's take a nice long deep inhale. Squeeze Mula Bandha. Hold the breath, hold the lock. Perfect your posture, gazing at the third eye. Slow release. Keep those eyes closed. Just bring the hands onto the knees. Gyan Mudra. Keep receiving. You're just sitting up very straight. rounded lips. Hold it. Anything you need to release, let it go with a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. Staying in your easy pose, let's bring our hands. Hands go inside the armpits in kind of fists. Here, let's see how. Let's see what feels better. I think fists are going to be better. So kind of bringing fists into the armpits here. Looks a little going to do a little funky chicken. Okay, so literally it is like this, and it is. We are going to pump and we are going to move three minutes as hard as we can, like a steam train. It says. Okay. Breath becomes like a breath of fire, strong in and out the nose. Inhale, squeeze, pull 
Kabanda, hold your breath. And focus, third eye, keep squeezing. Release, slow hands in Gya Mudra. Oh. Arms straight, feel that pull through the elbows as you open up. Receive, breathe, feel your heartbeat. Your lymphatic system does not have its own pumps. When we want to work and clear through the lymphs, we have to do it ourselves. It makes you sweat kind of funky. It's like a really interesting release of toxins. You feel really good, but you're gonna have to drink a lot of water today. Okay, keep breathing. Gather yourself, take in as much fresh prana as you can, get it all the way deep into the body, through the rib cage. make sure that prana gets all the way to the back body, everywhere, filling up white golden light. So what's going to happen is we're going to do this next posture for two minutes. We're going to be breathing in and out our mouth. And when it's finished, we're going to inhale, squeeze Mulabanda, and go directly onto our back. So just get that into your mind. If you don't have to open up your eyes, don't open your eyes. But we go directly onto our backs, and then we're going to be doing alternate leg lifts. There's no stop in between. So think about carrying the energy from this exercise into the next. All right, two minutes only, give it everything you've got. Arms come out, palms are facing down, flapping like a bird. Now we're even more like a bird. <laughs> Up and down, strong breath, like a breath. Oh no, sorry, in and out through the mouth. Faster and faster, it says. Right onto your back. 
your buttocks, you can. Breath of fire while we do leg lifts, which means it's gonna probably be two or three breath of fires for each leg up, like a. Two or three up, two or three down. Find your way. Beautiful, everybody's got that.
and the energy flows up. Not just the energetic centers through those 26 vertebrae, spinal fluid shifting up everything <coughs> up to your throat and third eye. <coughs> squeeze and keep holding. Slow release. Both legs down. Both are controlled. Controlled. Release. Just for a moment. Breathing in and out of the belly. Recharging. Consciously circulating energy from the lower triangle down to the toes up through that heart, up to the throat and the third eye. Breathe. And as that music transitions, we're gonna to begin to do leg lifts, both feet together, both feet pointed. You can put your hands under your buttocks and we begin that heavy lifting. Inhale up. Exhale down. This isn't with the breath of fire. This is just with big breaths up, big breaths down. Yes. your bolster and then you can kind of do this oh I think I'm gonna do it that way I might only be able to do three though but that's okay we're works in progress okay so whatever you can do and that's what we're doing okay put down what you're carrying and go for it Woo. Yep. Let's go. Okay. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
You can make funny noises. It's okay. your care in and let it go. Just open up into a little corpse pose. Let's take a moment just to breathe. Focus on the energy all through that lower triangle and that navel and let it, let it course through your body. Okay. Don't worry, I'm getting you right up, but it's we're getting up to chant mid Kriya. So it's gonna be beautiful. So we're taking all of this energy up. We're gonna rock it up into an easy pose and you're gonna get comfortable because we're gonna chant for the next 10 minutes. So let's inhale, bring our knees to our chest. Give yourself a little spin to the right, spin to the left, whatever works to loosen up that lower spine. Rock on the spine, find your super comfy space. Ooh, take all that beautiful energy hands go over the heart center notice which one you put first it doesn't say which one but maybe notice we are going to be chanting take in these words don't worry you'll learn them all after 10 minutes ardas bai amardas guru amardas guru ardas Bai Ramdas Guru, Ramdas Guru, Ramdas Guru, Sachi Sahi. What this means, it's the prayer of all prayers to fulfill all of your desires. Guru Ramdas Amar Das was the third of the Sikh Gurus, and we called him in when we needed humility, compassion. He is the Lord of miracles. So take a moment praying this prayer to fulfill all of your desires from your heart. You're holding on to your heart. You're going to feel the vibration there. All right, that's what we're doing. Put all of your energy into the chant. Let's do it. It's so beautiful. Das Guru, 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 Das Gu
Gyan Mudra and just tune in. We're going to be shifting into an archer pose and we're going to be holding it for an extended period of time with our left leg in front. We're going to be chanting Gobinde, Mukande, <coughs> Udare, Apare. Kariyam, Kariyam, Nirname Akame. This means sustainer, liberator, enlightener, infinite, destroyer, creator, nameless, desireless. This is the mantra of the spiritual warrior. So we're going to connect in that archer pose with all of our confidence. Guru Ram Das. This meditation eliminates karmic blocks, errors, and balances. It clears your aura 
and it builds compassion and patience. Let's go ahead and stand. Coming up, left foot forward. Make sure you're in a strong, strong posture. That left heel should be aiming towards the mid of the back arch, like when you're doing a warrior pose. This is your archer though. Knee doesn't come over the heel, but get it deep. You want a nice, nice stretch. You might wanna bring your, your knees gonna be bent forward step. Yep, bring that back foot back. Look where my foot is. Yeah, bring that back across. A little bit more like this. Check that your foot back, foot is here and turn. Yeah, more like a warrior. Yes, ma'am, exactly. Okay, so. Oh, yes. So, we're here. Oops, you can't even see my head. <laughs> Oopsies. All right, I might be in the pool for you to see my head. <laughs> Let's just swap that a little bit. Sorry, everybody. I was the headless warrior. And that's actually funny because if you read the story of Guru Ram Das, they cut off his head and he could still speak. So, it was the miracle of the Ram Das. So, maybe I should have my, <laughs> my head cut off like that. Okay, so we find our posture. We're strong. Let's go ahead forward, making fists, thumbs are up, arms are out over that leg. Pull that arrow back, check your posture. That elbow is right there. Eyes are one-tenth open. This is the posture. We are going to be here for eight minutes. Huh. Yes, we are. So, strong, confident, clear your aura, clear your blocks. Chant. Love it. This is my favorite. Uh, yes. Point it right oh, at me. Let's do it. Ooh,
facing forward. Just breathe for a moment. I'll get our instructions. <laughs> I'll get our instructions. Okay. So, the last part, we're going to be chanting Ad Such Jugad Such Hebi Such Nanakahosi Bay Such You'll get that one too. This one is the code for unconditional love. True in the beginning it means you will be you in the future. The true you in the beginning, you will be you in the future. You are you now and you shall always be. Okay? Code for unconditional love. True you in the beginning, true you will be in the future. True you are now, true you, you will always be. So we stand, palms out, arms out, palms out, facing up, making a cup with your hands, stretching out from the shoulders. So here like this, just reaching out, reaching out like this, visualizing behind you, forward, now, all around. Behind you, forward, now, all around. Because it is true in the beginning, your past. True, you will be you in the future. True, you now. True, you always. That's what we're chanting. It's a wave. And let's breathe. 
such God, such heavy, such non-inclusive, such odd, such God, such heavy, such non-inclusive, such odd, such God, such heavy, such non-inclusive, such. sip through rounded lips. Allow yourself to sigh and release anything that doesn't serve you. Two more times at your own pace. Inhale. Take a sip. and come back onto your mat and lie back for Shavasana.
voluntary enlightenment. So don't pay money to any guru. Feel very relaxed for everything will change. We will achieve the desired attunement of humanity. There will be a tremendous surge and a tremendous urge to merge with higher consciousness. It will not be going up to heaven. We will be able to experience heaven on earth, but not with pride, ego, or anger. The relationship between man, woman, and the infinite will become merged. We will not need to seek God outside. The Piscean era is a subconscious one. We will understand that within ourselves, there is a complete understanding and connection to the infinite. It will be a period of Sat Nam. In the beginning there was the Word, and the Word was God. Truth is our identity. Sat Nam, it's your connection to the infinite. The stars and the energies are changing. There is to be harmony, peace, and tranquility for those who go inside to their shining purity. This doesn't mean to go and become antisocial or isolated, but rather to understand that we are all connected to one another and to Source. Recognize yourself as co-creators with God. Acknowledge the choice of birth, circumstances, and destiny to be in a human body on the planet at this time. Start to see the infinite and source in yourself, in everyone, in everything, so we know that everyone and everything is worthy of respect and love so that we can create this heaven on earth. surrendering anything that doesn't serve you. Connecting with our breath. Moving fingers and toes. Opening up, maybe stretching up and breathing into the body. Bringing the knees into the chest. Rocking to the left. Rocking to the right. Connecting with your energy until you're able to either push over to the side and rock up or swing up together bring our hands into prayer pose and we sing our long time shots long time sunshine song sending love and light out first to ourselves honoring ourselves for showing up today then to one another this beautiful beautiful group and and let's send some love and light out to the world so it can be a better place today. Better, more beautiful place today. A place of miracles. Thank you. 
that nice long deep inhale, bringing the prayer over the head, holding the breath, you know, being some more peace. You now yoga practice, contribute to the well-being of all. We exhale through the chakras, please join me, peace to all, light to all, truth to all, and love to all. We bow down giving thanks to Mother Earth, Father Sky, Blessing you, blessing your prayers, hoping for miracles for everyone that your dreams all come true, wishing you a magical weekend mm -hmm. as we rise up with a satna. Mm. Satnam.